Hello, what's going on everyone? It's the Epic Huber here and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to unbox the Bose Sound Touch 10 Bluetooth speaker. Thing has really awesome sound quality, so I'm really excited to show this product to you guys. Anyway, enjoy the video. So as I said, we're gonna be going ahead and trying out the Bose Sound Touch 10. The box looks really good, except for the fact that it was the last one left and it was kind of destroyed a little bit. So let me rephrase that to the box would look really good if it were a new box. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. I think it's about time we got into it. So this thing says that it is set up in just minutes, uh, can stream with other Sound Touch products, so other Bose products. You can actually go ahead and hook those up together and use it all from the same app. Let's go ahead and get this thing open here. All right, here's the actual product. We got the instruction booklet about how to set it up. Got the user's manual right here. More user's manual. There is a lot of user's manual. Here is the actual product here underneath. We got a cord to charge it with. And finally, let's go ahead and get this thing out. So I went ahead and got it in black. Looks like it comes with a nice remote where you can wirelessly control the volume. You can wirelessly control um, pause, play, skip, thumbs up, thumbs down. Maybe if you're listening to like, uh, what's called Pandora, something like that, you can go ahead and use that. Switch it to auxiliary, turn it on and off and go navigate to your presets. Looks really good. I wonder how this thing is powered. Probably just another regular battery, I assume. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this thing. All right, so this thing looks really high quality. It's not real heavy. Uh, we got the charging port in the back here. We got auxiliary cord and we also got a service port. It looks like just a micro USB right there. In the front we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, auxiliary, and not really sure what that is right there. And then on top we have a couple of options. We have power, auxiliary, some presets, and then we also have the volume here as well. Let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and give it a try trying to set this thing up and see how it sounds. All right, we got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and crack open the start here and we're gonna go ahead and find out how to get this thing set up. So the first step it says to plug in the power, then it says download SoundTouch app. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull out my cell phone and get that downloaded here. Bose SoundTouch, let's go ahead and get that. So it's gonna check for updates real quick. I guess you download it and it's not on the latest update that feels a little bit weird to me all right sound touch let's go ahead and get started here okay so it says how would you like to connect your sound touch speaker we got wi-fi and we got ethernet definitely gonna go with wi-fi here while we're waiting let's go ahead and see if we can bring this thing to life oh we got the lovely power button here we got wi-fi lit up here we go ahead and get this thing set up N name your speaker Oh man, something like living room. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name it the Swanky Speaker. Name speaker, please wait. Again, it could take another minute or two. By the time this thing's done, it's going to take a very long time here. This thing says that it's only supposed to take a couple minutes to set up, but this is actually taking quite a while here. All right, we got it connected, hopefully over Bluetooth here. All right, this thing. It sounded pretty good so far. I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Sam? I got I got my brother back behind the camera. What do you think? How's that sounding? <laughs> All right, I'll take that as good. I'll take that as it sounded good. This thing's got a really thick bass to it. Honestly, as I was listening through, I was really happy compared to all the other speakers in the store about how much better this one sounded, especially on the low end. Um, high end, I think, is a little tinny, maybe. Does it sound a little bit tinny to you? Yeah, just the, the high end sounds a little bit low compared to the bass. But I think overall this thing, let's crank it up. I think it's got a pretty good beat. All right, that sounds pretty awesome. That is it for today's unboxing. 
Now I'm going to be making a full review, which is going to be uploaded with this video, just so you guys can get my full thoughts on this product. One thing that I would like to say before you guys click on to the next video is how long this video actually took to record. For about six minutes worth of footage, it took about 25 minutes, and most of that was downloading the application. And I certainly don't have slow internet. So I'd say that the main drawback with this product, I can already tell you, is that the application is not very good and that this product is really hard to set up. Other than that, you guys go ahead, check out my full review, and I'll let you know if it is worth it or not. Sadly, we have just reached the end of this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave that like, and if you like more content, please subscribe. I'm the Epic Q brand. You have an epic day. Bye.